Emoticon, an emoticon, rarely pronounced, short for emotion icon, also known simply as an emote, is a pictorial representation of a facial expression using characters, usually punctuation marks, numbers, and letters, to express a person's feelings or a mood, or as a time-saving method. The first ASCII emoticons, Codice underscore 1 and Codice underscore 2, were written by Scott Fallman in 1982. But emoticons actually originated on the Plato 4 computer system in 1972. In Western countries, emoticons are usually written at a right angle to the direction of the text. Users from Japan popularized a kind of emoticon called Kemoji, lit. Kao equals face, moji equals characters, that can be understood without tilting one's head to the left. This style arose on ASCII-Net of Japan in 1986. As SMS and the Internet became widespread in the late 1990s, emoticons became increasingly popular and were commonly used on text messages, Internet forums and emails. Emoticons have played a significant role in communication through technology, and some devices and applications have provided stylized pictures that do not use text punctuation. They offer another range of tone and feeling through texting that portrays specific emotions through facial gestures while in the midst of text-based cyber communication. The word is a portmanteau word of the English words emotion and icon. In web forums, instant messengers and online games, text emoticons are often automatically replaced with small corresponding images, which came to be called emoticons as well. Emoticons for a smiley face Cody say underscore one and sad face Cody say underscore two appear in the first documented use in digital form. Certain complex character combinations can only be accomplished in double byte languages giving rise to especially complex forms, sometimes known by the romanized Japanese name of keimochi. The use of emoticons can be traced back to the 17th century, drawn by a Slovak notary to indicate his satisfaction with the state of his town's municipal financial records in 1635, but they were commonly used in casual and humorous writing. Digital forms of emoticons on the Internet were included in a proposal by Scott Fallman of Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in a message on September 19, 1982. The National Telegraphic Review and Operator's Guide in April 1857 documented the use of the number 73 in Morse code to express love and kisses, latter reduced to the more formal best regards. Dodge's manual in 1908 documented the reintroduction of love and kisses as the number 88.Gajadar and Green comment that both Morse code abbreviations are more succinct than modern abbreviations such as LOL. A New York Times transcript of an Abraham Lincoln speech written in 1862 contains Cody say underscore 5, there is some debate whether it is a typo, a legitimate punctuation construct, or an emoticon. Four vertical typographical emoticons were published in 1881 by the U.S. satirical magazine Puck, with a stated intention that the publication's letterpress department thus intended to lay out, all the cartoonists that ever walked. In 1912, Ambrose Bierce proposed an improvement in punctuation, the snigger point, or note of cashination, it is written thus underscore and presents a smiling myth. It is to be appended, with a full stop, to every jocular or ironical sentence. In a 1936 Harvard Lampoon article, Alan Gregg proposed, for smile, dash, for laugh, more teeth showing, hash, for frown, for wink, and, hash, for intense interest attention, and incredulity. Note that the symbols are correctly oriented and are not sideways. Emoticons had already come into use in sci-fi fandom in the 1940s, although there seems to have been a lapse in cultural continuity between the communities. The September 1962 issue of Mad Magazine included an article titled Typera Tunes. The piece, featuring typewriter-generated artwork credited to Royal Portable, was entirely made up of repurposed typography including a capital letter P having a bigger bus than a capital I, a lowercase b and d discussing their pregnancies, an asterisk on top of a letter to indicate the letter had just come inside from a snowfall, and a classroom of lowercase n's interrupted by a lowercase h raising its hand. Two additional Typeratoons articles subsequently appeared in MAD, in 1965 and 1987. In 1963, the smiley face, a yellow button with two black dots representing eyes and an upturned thick curve representing a mouth was created by freelance artist Harvey Ball. It was realized on order of a large insurance company as part of a campaign to bolster the morale of its employees and soon became a big hit. This smiley presumably inspired many later emoticons, the most basic graphic emoticon that depicts this is, in fact, 
a small yellow smiley face. In a New York Times interview in April 1969, Alden Whitman asked writer Vladimir Nabokov, how do you rank yourself among writers, living, and of the immediate past? Nabokov answered, I often think there should exist a special typographical sign for a smile, some sort of concave mark, a supine round bracket, which I would now like to trace in reply to your question. In 1971, a French journalist, Franklin Laufrani, created a smiley logo to mark good news in the French newspaper Francoise. Laufrani was the first person to trademark the symbol, in 1972. Later, in 1996, Laufrani established the Smiley Company with his son, Nicolas Laufrani. Nicolas developed hundreds of different emoticons, including 3D versions. His designs were registered at the United States Copyright Office in 1997 and appeared online as GIF files in 1998. These were the first graphical representations of the original e text based emoticon. He published his icons as well as emoticons created by others, along with their ASCII versions, in an online smiley dictionary in the early 2000s. This dictionary included over 3,000 different smileys and was published as a book called Deco Smileys in 2002. The Smiley Company has trademarked its version of the smiley face in over 100 countries. In 1997, the Smiley Company filed a trademark application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. In 2001, Walmart opposed the registration, citing a likelihood of confusion between the Laufrani smiley and a smiley face Walmart had been using since 1990. The U.S. TO eventually sided with Walmart and rejected the smiley company's application, due to the widespread use of smiley face designs. Seeking to prevent Walmart from using any smiley face design, Nicholas Laufrani next sued Walmart in federal court in 2009 while claiming that his smiley face was readily distinguishable from Walmart apostrophe s. The case was closed in 2011 when the two parties agreed to settle out of court. The terms of the settlement were undisclosed, but Walmart continued to use its smiley design intermittently and returned to using it in a major marketing role in 2016. Starting circa 1972, on the Play-Doh system, emoticons and other decorative graphics were produced as ASCII art, particularly with overprinting typing a character, backing up, then typing another character. For example, Waptex and Victory both produce convincing smiley faces, where the overprinted characters produce a solid background, and pixels untouched by any of the characters produce the actual design. This developed into a sophisticated set, particularly in combination with superscript and subscript. Scott Fallman was the first documented person to use the emoticons Codice underscore 1 and Codice underscore 2 with a specific suggestion that they be used to express emotion. The text of his original proposal, posted to the Carnegie Mellon University Computer Science General Board on September 19, 1982, 1144, was thought to have been lost, but was recovered 20 years later by Jeff Baird from old backup tapes. Other notable computer scientists who participated in this thread include David Turetsky, Guy Steele, and Jamie Carbonell. Within a few months, it had spread to the ARPANET and Usenet. Many variations on the theme were immediately suggested by Scott and others. Usually, emoticons in Western style have the eyes on the left, followed by nose and the mouth. The two-character version Cody say underscore 8 which emits the nose is also very popular. The most basic emoticons are relatively consistent in form, but each of them can be transformed by being rotated, making them tiny ambigrams, with or without a hyphen, nose. There are also some possible variations to emoticons to get new definitions, like changing a character to express a new feeling, or slightly change the mood off the emoticon. For example, Cody say underscore 9 equals sad and Cody say underscore 10 equals very sad. Weeping can be written as Cody say underscore 11. A blush can be expressed as Cody say underscore 12. Others include wink Cody say underscore 13, a grin Cody say underscore 14, smug Cody say underscore 15 and tongue out Cody say underscore 16, such as when blowing a raspberry. An often used combination is also Cody say underscore 17 for a heart, and Cody say underscore 18 for a broken heart. Cody say underscore 19 is also sometimes used to depict shock. A broad grin is sometimes shown with crinkled eyes to express further amusement, Cody say underscore 20 and the addition of further D letters can suggest laughter or extreme amusement for example Cody say underscore 21. There are hundreds of other variations including Cody say underscore 22 for anger, 
or Cody say underscore 23 for an evil grin, which can be, again, used in reverse, for an unhappy angry face, in the shape of Cody say underscore 24. Cody say underscore 25 for vampire teeth, Cody say underscore 26 for grimace, and Cody say underscore 27 can be used to denote a flirting or joking tone, or maybe implying a second meaning in the sentence preceding it. As computers offer increasing built-in support for non-Western writing systems, it has become possible to use other glyphs to build emoticons. The shrug emoticon, Cody say underscore 28, uses the glyph from the Japanese katakana writing system. An equal sign is often used for the eyes in place of the colon, seen as Cody say underscore 29, without changing the meaning of the emoticon. In these instances, the hyphen is almost always either omitted or, occasionally, replaced with an O as in Cody say underscore 30. In most circles it has become acceptable to omit the hyphen, whether a colon or an equal sign is used for the eyes, but in some areas of usage people still prefer larger, more traditional emoticon Cody say underscore 1 or Cody say underscore 32. One linguistic study has indicated that the use of the nose in an emoticon may be related to the user such. Similar looking characters are commonly substituted for one another, for instance, Cody say underscore 33, Cody say underscore 34, and Cody say underscore 35 can all be used interchangeably, sometimes for subtly different effect or, in some cases, one type of character may look better in a certain font and therefore be preferred over another. It is also common for the user to replace the rounded brackets used for the mouth with other, similar brackets, such as Cody say underscore 36 instead of Cody say underscore 37. Some variants are also more common in certain countries due to keyboard layouts. For example, the smiley Cody say underscore 29th of may occur in Scandinavia, where the keys for Cody say underscore 39 and Cody say underscore 37 are placed right beside each other. However, the Cody say underscore 8 variant is without a doubt the dominant one in Scandinavia, making the Cody say underscore 29 version a rarity. Diacritical marks are sometimes used. The letters Cody say underscore 43 and Cody say underscore 44 can be seen as an emoticon as the upright version of Cody say underscore 19, meaning that one is surprised, and Cody say underscore 14, meaning that one is very happy, respectively. Some emoticons may be read right to left instead, and in fact can only be written using standard ASCII keyboards characters this way round, for example Cody say underscore 47 which refers to being shocked or anxious, opposite to the large grin of Cody say underscore 14. Users from Japan popularized a style of emoticons, K-emoji, lit. Face characters, that can be understood without tilting one's head to the left. This style arose on ASCII.net, an early Japanese online service, in 1986. Similar-looking emoticons were used on the Byte Information Exchange, VIX, around the same time. These emoticons are usually found in a format similar to Cody say underscore 49. The asterisks indicate the eyes. The central character, commonly an underscore, the mouth, and the parentheses, the outline of the face. Different emotions can be expressed by changing the character representing the eyes. For example, T can be used to express crying or sadness. Cody say underscore 50. Cody say underscore 51 may also be used to mean unimpressed. The emphasis on the eyes in this style is reflected in the common usage of emoticons that use only the eyes. For example, Cody say underscore 52. Looks of stress are represented by the likes of Cody say underscore 53, while Cody say underscore 54 is a generic emoticon for nervousness, the semicolon representing an anxiety-induced sweat drop, discussed further below. Cody say underscore 55 can indicate embarrassment by symbolizing blushing. Characters like hyphens or periods can replace the underscore, the period is often used for a smaller, cuter mouth, or to represent a nose, for example Cody say underscore 56. Alternatively, the mouth slash nose can be left out entirely, for example Cody say underscore 57. Parentheses are sometimes replaced with braces or square brackets, for example Cody say underscore 58 or Cody say underscore 59. Many times, the parentheses are left out completely, for example Cody say underscore 52, Cody say underscore 61, Cody say underscore 62, Cody say underscore 63. Cody say underscore 64, or Cody say underscore 65. A quotation mark Cody say underscore 66, apostrophe Cody say underscore 67, 
or semicolon code say underscore 68 can be added to the emoticon to imply apprehension or embarrassment, in the same way that a sweat drop is used in manga and anime. Microsoft EMA 2000, Japanese, or later supports the input of emoticons like the above by enabling the Microsoft EMA spoken language slash emotion dictionary. In EMA 2007, this support was moved to the emoticons dictionary. Such dictionaries allow users to call up emoticons by typing words that represent them. Communication software allowing the use of Shift-JIS encoded Japanese characters rather than just ASCII allowed for the development of new K-emoji uses the extended character set, such as Kodise underscore 69 or Kodise underscore 70. Modern communication software generally utilizes Unicode, which allows for the incorporation of characters from other languages, for example from the Cyrillic alphabet, and a variety of symbols into the K-emoji as in Kodise underscore 71 or Kodise underscore 72. Further variations can be produced using Unicode combining characters, as in Kodise underscore 73 or Kodise underscore 74. English language anime forums adopted those Japanese-style emoticons that could be used with the standard ASCII characters available on Western keyboards. Because of this, they are often called anime-style emoticons in English. They have since seen use in more mainstream venues, including online gaming, instant messaging, and non-anime-related discussion forums. Emoticons such as Kodise underscore 75, Kodise underscore 76, Kodise underscore 77, Kodise underscore 78, Kodise underscore 79, or Kodise underscore 80 which include the parentheses, mouth or nose, and arms, especially those represented by the inequality signs less than or greater than also are often referred to in reference to their likeness to Nintendo's video game character Kirby. The parentheses are sometimes dropped when used in the English language context, and the underscore of the mouth may be extended as an intensifier for the emoticon in question. For example Kodise underscore 81 for very happy. The emoticon uses the Eastern style but incorporates a depiction of the western middle finger flick off using a T as the arm, hand, and finger. Another apparently western invention is the use of emoticons like Kodise underscore 82 or Kodise underscore 83 to indicate vampires or other mythical beasts with fangs. Exposure to both western and Japanese style emoticons or Kemoji through blogs, instant messaging, and forums featuring a blend of western and Japanese pop culture has given rise to many emoticons that have an upright viewing format. The parentheses are often dropped, and these emoticons typically only use alphanumeric characters and the most commonly used English punctuation marks. Emoticons such as Kodise underscore 84, Kodise underscore 85, Kodise underscore 86, Kodise underscore 87, Kodise underscore 88, Kodise underscore 51, Kodise underscore 90, and Kodise underscore 91 are used to convey mixed emotions that are more difficult to convey with traditional emoticons. Characters are sometimes added to emoticons to convey an anime or manga styled sweat drop, for example Kodise underscore 92, Kodise underscore 93, Kodise underscore 94, Kodise underscore 95, and Kodise underscore 96. The equal sign can also be used for closed, anime looking eyes, for example Kodise underscore 97. Kodise underscore 98, Kodise underscore 99, Kodise underscore 100, and Kodise underscore 101. In Brazil, sometimes combining characters, accents, are added to emoticons to represent eyebrows, as in Kodise underscore 102, Kodise underscore 103, Kodise underscore 104, Kodise underscore 105, or Kodise underscore 106. Users of the Japanese Discussion Board 2 channel, in particular, have developed a wide variety of unique emoticons using characters from various languages, such as Kanada, as in Kodise underscore 107, for a look of disapproval, disbelief, or confusion. These were quickly picked up by 4chan and spread to other Western cities soon after. Some have taken on a life of their own and become characters in their own right, like Mona. In South Korea, Emoticons use Korean Hangul letters, and the Western style is rarely used. The structures of Korean and Japanese emoticons are somewhat similar, but they have some differences. Korean style contains Korean JMO, letters, instead of other characters. There are countless number of emoticons that can be formed with such combinations of Korean JMO letters. Consonant JMO's Kodise underscore 108, 
Cody say underscore 109 or Cody say underscore 110 is the mouth slash nose component on Cody say underscore 111, Cody say underscore 112 or Cody say underscore 113 for the eyes. For example, Cody say underscore 114, Cody say underscore 115, Cody say underscore 116 and Cody say underscore 117. Dot faces such as Cody say underscore 118, Cody say underscore 119, Cody say underscore 120 and Cody say underscore 121, using quotation marks Cody say underscore 66 and apostrophes Cody say underscore 67 are also commonly used combinations. Vowel jamos such as depict a crying face. Example, Cody say underscore 124. Cody say underscore 125 and Cody say underscore 126, same function as T in Western style. Sometimes, not an M dash, but a vowel jamo, a comma or an underscore is added, and the two character sets can be mixed together, as in Cody say underscore 127, Cody say underscore 128, Cody say underscore 129, Cody say underscore 130. Cody say underscore 131 and Cody say underscore 132. Also, semicolons and carrots are commonly used in Korean emoticons. Semicolons mean sweating, embarrassed. If they are used with R, they depict a bad feeling. Examples, Cody say underscore 133, Cody say underscore 134, Cody say underscore 135. Cody say underscore 136 and Cody say underscore 137. Dot, however, Cody say underscore 138 means smile, almost all people use this without distinction of sex or age. Others include, Cody say underscore 139, Cody say underscore 140, Cody say underscore 141, Cody say underscore 142. The character, U plus 5067, which means bright, is also used in the Chinese computing community for a frowning face. It is also combined with posture emoticon ORs, such as RZ. The character existed in Oracle Bone Script, but its use as emoticon was documented as early as January 20, 2005. Other ideographic variants for include King, Queen, with Hat, Turtle, Bomberman. The character, U plus 69D1, which sounds like the word for plum. U plus F.A. 44, is used to represent double of, dull, or further magnitude of dullness. In Chinese, normally full characters, as opposed to the stylistic use of, may be duplicated to express emphasis. Ors, other forms include, is an emoticon representing a kneeling or bowing person, the Japanese version of which is called dojiza, with the O being the head, the R being the arms and part of the body, and the Z being part of the body and the legs. This stick figure can represent failure and despair. It is also commonly used for representing a great admiration, sometimes with an overtone of sarcasm, for someone else's view or action. It was first used in late 2002 at the forum on TechSide, a Japanese personal website. At the TechSide FAQ forum, TechSide BBS BBS, a poster asked about a cable cover, typing to show a cable in its cover. Others commented that it looked like a kneeling person and the symbol became popular. These comments were soon deleted as they were considered off-topic. By 2005, or spawned a subculture, blogs have been devoted to the emoticon, and URL shortening services have been named after it. In Taiwan, ORS is associated with the phrase nice guy that is, the concept of males being rejected for a date by girls they are pursuing with a phrase like you are a nice guy. ORS should not be confused with M underscore underscore M, which means thank you or an apology. A portmanteau of emotion and sound, an emota sound is a brief sound transmitted and played back during the viewing of a message, typically an e-message or email message. The sound is intended to communicate an emotional subtext. Many instant messaging clients automatically trigger sound effects in response to specific emoticons. Some services, such as Muse icons, combine emoticons and music player in an Adobe Flash-based widget. In 2004, the Trillion Chat application introduced a feature called Emotablips, which allows Trillion users to stream files to their instant message recipients as the voice and video equivalent of an emoticon. In 2007, MTV and Paramount Home Entertainment promoted the Emotaclip as a form of viral marketing for the second season of the show The Hills. The Emotaclips were 12 short snippets of dialogue from the show, uploaded to YouTube, 
which the advertisers hoped would be distributed between web users as a way of expressing feelings in a similar manner to emoticons. The emoticlip concept is credited to the Bradley and Montgomery advertising firm, which hopes they would be widely adopted as greeting cards that just happen to be selling something. In 2008, an emotion sequence animation tool, called Fun Icons was created. The Adobe Flash and Java-based application allows users to create a short animation. Users can then email or save their own animations to use them on similar social utility applications. During the first half of the 2010s, there have been different forms of small audiovisual pieces to be sent through instant messaging systems to express one's emotion. These videos lack an established name, and there are several ways to designate them, emoticlips, named above, emoti videos or more recently emoticon videos. These are tiny videos which can be easily transferred from one mobile phone or other device to another. Current video compression codecs such as H.264 allow these pieces of video to be light in terms of file size and very portable. The popular computer and mobile app Skype uses these in a separate keyboard or by typing the code of the emoticon videos between parentheses. In 2000, Despair Incorporated obtained a U.S. trademark registration for the frowning emoticon code say underscore 2 when used on greeting cards, posters and art prints. In 2001, they issued a satirical press release, announcing that they would sue Internet users who typed the frowny. The joke backfired and the company received a storm of protests when its mock release was posted on technology news website slash dot. A number of patent applications have been filed on inventions that assist in communicating with emoticons. A few of these have been issued as U.S. patents, for example, discloses a method developed in 2001 to send emoticons over a cell phone using a drop-down menu. The stated advantage over the prior art waste had the user saved on the number of keystrokes though this may not address the obviousness criteria. The emoticon code ESA underscore 1 was also filed in 2006 and registered in 2008 as a European Community Trademark, CTM. In Finland, the Supreme Administrative Court ruled in 2012 that the emoticon cannot be trademarked, thus repealing a 2006 administrative decision trademarking the emoticons code ESA underscore 1, code ESA underscore 29, code ESA underscore 147, code ESA underscore 8 and code ESA underscore 9. In 2005, a Russian court rejected a legal claim against Siemens by a man who claimed to hold the trademark on the code say underscore 150 emoticon. In 2008, Russian entrepreneur Oleg Tedarin claimed to have been granted the trademark on the code say underscore 150 emoticon. A license would not cost that much tens of thousands of dollars for companies, but would be free of charge for individuals. Some smiley faces were present in Unicode since 1.1.0 including a white frowning face, a white smiling face, and a black smiling face. Black refers to a glyph which is filled, white refers to a glyph which is unfilled. The emoticons block was introduced in Unicode Standard Version 6.0, published in October 2010, and extended by 7.0. It covers Unicode range from U plus 1F600 to U plus 1F64 F fully. After that block had been filled, Unicode 8.0, 2015. 9.0, 2016, and 10.0, 2017, added additional emoticons in the range from U plus 1 F910 to U plus 1 F9 FF currently, U plus 1 F92 plus 1 F90 F, U plus 1 F93 F, U plus 1 F94 2 plus 1 F94 F, U plus 1 F96 2 plus 1 F97 F, U plus 1 F998 U plus 1 F9 C F, excluding U plus 1 F9 C0 which contains the cheese, emoji, and 1F9E71F9FF do not contain any emoticons since Unico 10.0, 2017. For historic and compatibility reasons, some other heads and figures, which mostly represent different aspects like genders, activities and professions instead of emotions, are also found in miscellaneous symbols and pictographs, especially U plus 1F466 U plus 1F487 and transport and map symbols. Body parts, mostly hands, are also encoded in the dingbat and miscellaneous symbols blocks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.